show. None of us can relate to that. The Wits Game Show is a recurring improv game feature where the guests make up songs or performances based on the prompts given by John Moe and the writers. Occasionally, these prompts involve emus. Your mother has become an emu. In this installment, relatable comedian Maria Bamford and relatable singer-songwriter Brandi Carlisle are tasked with making relatable monologues and songs, respectively, out of completely unrelatable premises. And Brandi Carlisle is really, really good at this. Uh, you return home to find your house covered by an enormous towel. Her songs are, of course, short, but they're surprisingly fully formed. You can leave home when you turn 18. You can leave home when you feel your dreams come real. Cause that's how you feel. And you can come home when you're all tired out. When you get knocked down, when you're all out of shout. And then your home's your friend. But you can't go out when the sun is in the sky if you're an owl. And you can't come home when your house is covered by a giant towel. And of course, Maria Bamford is great. She's just so lovably earnest, genuinely assessing how she would react in these crazy situations. You go on a blind date, and it turns out to be Bigfoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, number one, I'm on a date. And, uh, <laughs> or two, we have so much in common. Uh, I have a tremendous amount of wooly, brushy hair all over my body uh, that doesn't necessarily uh, make me want to hide in the woods. Um, but uh, I think, you know, as long as he has some kind of, you know, spiritual practice. The Wits Game Show tends to be about capturing weirdness, but this particular installment managed to capture a lot of warmth as well. The Wits Game Show, instant PSAs. Dave Foley and Mike Doty are given PSA topics and have to improvise announcements and songs respectively to bring light to these serious topics. The PSA is, stay away from Bert. <laughs> Every year, 13.5% of the residents of Newcastle, New Hampshire, run into Bert. <laughs> and every year, this 13.5% find themselves trapped in an unbearably dull conversation. <laughs> Bert, you don't want to talk to that man. As always, part of the fun is the goofy prompts that the Wits writing staff brings to the table, but the bulk of the humor comes from hearing what the guests make of the prompts, whether they're easily successful... And Dave Foley, reconsider eels. In a time of shrinking resources, when cattle breeding denudes our planet of vital oxygen-giving trees, consider the eel, a low-fat protein source that's only mostly gross. Or whether they struggle with it. In this case, Mike Doty giving up is almost as funny as Dave Foley effortlessly succeeding. Are you gonna tickle that guy? No. I'm gonna kick him. It's very important. The importance of kicking, and I'll bet you anything Dave wins this round again. <laughs> Mike Doty takes the round. This week's game is called Clash of the Hollywood Weirdo Titans. In this installment of the Wits Game Show, funniest man alive Paul F. Tompkins and sensational singer-songwriter Amy Mann have to come up with premises and theme songs respectively for fictional movie titles. And maybe I'm just biased because I love these people so much, but man, I revisit this one over and over and it never gets old for me. There are so many highlights. Amy's very descriptive theme to the thumping. The locksmith and Mr. Freeze. Hearkening back to the days of Cecil B. Paul giving the funniest casting announcement ever. Vincent Gallo. Oh. <laughs> and Vincent Gallo. Amy floundering when the tables are turned. Get to the emu attack. The emu's attack, what do you want me to say? It's a, it's a simple plot. Paul thriving when the tables are turned with the earwormiest emu song of all. E, 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 emu attack. Emu attack, it's happening, emu attack. And a conclusion tailor-made for John Moe's Twitter followers. The name of the film is Ghost Catchers. If there's weird things happening, and it's around you, someone 
has to be called, <laughs> who will that be? The answer, ghost catchers. It's a game show where nobody loses, especially not the audience.